In this tutorial, I'm gonna share with you the way I use the FMS and the autopilot to intercept a radial inbound to a given Y point for Aerosoft CRJ. And before I get started, please show your support to this channel by subscribing, liking, and sharing. From startup to shutdown is all about flying with simulators. Currently I'm flying my flight plan. As you can see on my flight mode annunciator, FMS1 is engaged and currently I'm established on course to the active waypoint Bravo Sierra Alpha as you can see here. ATC has instructed me to turn left heading 120 to intercept the radial 005 inbound to Bravo Sierra Alpha then as filed. First, I need to set my heading as instructed by the ATC, which is 120. Using the heading select knob, 120 is set. Then I select heading mode. On my FMA, I check that the heading mode is engaged and the autopilot is flying toward my selected heading. Once established on my heading, I go to my FMS CDU, but let me first pop up my navigation display for better illustration. Now, if you remember, ATC has instructed me to intercept the radial 005 inbound to Bravo Sierra Alpha. This means that the course will be the reciprocal of 005, which is 185. Now to obey this instruction I need to modify my flight plan using direct intercept CDO function. Then from my flight plan waypoints list I select Bravo Sierra Alpha. Then I select legs page. Then I'm gonna put my intercept course which is 185 on the intercept course dashed line here. And the FMS has created an intercept waypoint, as you can see here. All looks good. Now I can execute the modification. Now I keep flying the heading mode until I get close to my intercept waypoint. Then I select the nav mode. On my FMA, I check that the FMS one is engaged. And finally, the autopilot is intercepting the course to the active waypoint. And that's all for this video. See you in the next uh, tutorial. Thank you for watching.